I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a comparison of the Amazon Prime and Amazon Fresh delivery services. So um, similarities to start, these are both grocery delivery services from Amazon. Um, they'll both deliver fresh produce, frozen items, any kind of groceries to your door. Um, Prime now is the faster service. So um, basically this is a, a, a same day, you know, you can order and something will be delivered in about two hours um, and Amazon Fresh is a service where you place your order in advance and usually it can arrive sometimes the same day if you order in the morning you can get it in the evening um, if you order in the evening you can get it usually in the next morning um, so this is a service where they're packaging up the orders in a warehouse and shipping them out to you uh, pretty quickly this is a service where they're actually uh, loading up these bags in a local grocery store and um, then there's a driver taking this right to your house kind of like an instacart one of the earlier grocery delivery services um, so with prime now again it's a little bit faster because there's a, a shopper actually buying your items and then bringing them to you amazon fresh since it's being packed up in a warehouse again it's you know usually sometimes same day but often you place the order the night before and it arrives on your doorstep the next morning. Um, the advantage with Amazon Fresh is that in more markets you can access more items. So it's not just one grocery store um, or a select set of items, there's a lot more available. And you can get you know, fresh produce, frozen items, branded items, um, and you can also get, uh, really crucially, uh, things through Whole Foods because Amazon acquired Whole Foods Market. So some of the Whole Foods Market items are available on Amazon Fresh, like their 365 brand and a lot of organic items you can get on there. Um, Prime Now is in many markets almost exclusively Whole Foods. So you're ordering items from Prime Now and they're actually being packed up at a local Whole Foods store and then brought to you. Um, so, you know, one thing with that is that unless you're in a big city, on Prime Now, you're probably only going to be able to order Whole Foods items. So where I am in the suburbs of the San Francisco Bay Area, um, you, on Prime Now, you can only get Whole Foods items, um, you know, produce and uh, Whole Foods branded kinds of things, organic uh, processed foods, um, and that kind of thing. You can't get any, you know, you couldn't get like Coca-Cola, for example, on Prime Now. But with Prime uh, Amazon Fresh, again, you actually can get a broader array of those items where I am. In bigger cities, though, it's a little bit more even. And on Prime Now, you can actually order selected items, like grocery items from Amazon, so you can get those brand name items, as well as ordering from Whole Foods. But they have to be separate orders. Um, so you'd have to place one order for your Amazon stuff from Prime Now and one order from your Whole Foods stuff. So just a little bit different. This is a bit more combined service and Prime Now, uh, you're really ordering by the store and in many places it's just leveraging that Whole Foods acquisition and they're packaging these up at the local store and that's all you can really access on Prime Now. Um, one other difference between these is the way they're packaged. So with Amazon Fresh, because it's packed up in a warehouse, they're actually putting dry ice in with your frozen items. They're putting uh, frozen water bottles in with your refrigerated items to keep them totally cold. Um, and so when these arrive at your house, they can actually sit for a few hours. Um, and I've measured the inside temperatures of these totes in other videos and found it's actually you know pretty safe temperatures, especially on the frozen items from Amazon Fresh. So you don't have to be quite as sensitive about when these arrive at your house. Prime now it's a little bit different. They do put an insulated bag in, but I've shown in other videos the, the temperature is not a safe food holding temperature for long term. You wouldn't want to let this sit out for more than you know maybe 15 or 20 minutes after it arrives. So if you order a Prime Now order, you really want to be home and able to accept it from the carrier um, or to grab it from your front door you know pretty soon after it arrives. Amazon Fresh, you still want to take it in pretty quickly, but again, they're packing it to sit for a little bit longer, um, and especially on frozen items with the dry ice, you know, they can sit for several hours and still remain totally frozen. I wouldn't get like ice cream or anything on Prime now because it will start to kind of melt and be a weird texture, uh, even, you know, when it leaves the store, because again, it's just in a driver's car and it's not going to be at that full temperature control. Um, pricing is another really important thing to look at. So Prime Now, usually there's no monthly charge beyond just the normal Prime membership. To subscribe and get Amazon Fresh orders, you have to actually pay an extra fee. It's usually about $15 a month extra on top of your basic Prime membership. So to have this ability to have uh, groceries delivered in, you know, where they can sit at your door and that kind of thing, 
uh, then you're going to be paying a little bit more for Amazon Fresh versus using Prime now. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.